Here are the 8 best 200 IQ moments in game show's history. When it comes to game shows, these contestants rewrote the rules, proving that intelligence and strategic mastery can overshadow luck every single time. Let's have a look at how smart decisions can lead to victory on stage. Number 8. Sophie Clark outsmarted the best players on Survivor. Sophie Clark, the brilliant mind of Survivor South Pacific, amazed everyone with her spectacular victory. The ringleader, Coach, thought that he had the game in the bag for the third time, but Sophie had other plans. What set her apart from the rest of the players was her incredible strategic intelligence. She was not one of the loudest players. Instead, she would observe the others quietly and take her time. Then she would stack her cards, saving them for a grand reveal at the end, and this proved that she was indeed the mastermind behind it all. Meanwhile, Coach was under the illusion he had everything under control and would surely win, and she swept away the win. This shows Sophie's remarkable ability to read the game's dynamics and make smart choices. Instead of giving away her strategies, she chose to hold back her moves. She would only play her cards at the perfect moment. Clearly, she has nailed down both the social and strategic aspects of the game. Even when Sophie returned for Winners at War, she had a strong performance. Her persistent brilliance and adaptability marked her as one of the brightest champions. One of Sophie's intelligent moves was to team up with other clever players. And this showed that her survivor success was no accidental occurrence, but rather a result of her sharp mind and compelling gameplay. Sophie Clark indeed proved that brains can outwit strength on Survivor. Similar to her, we have a group of contestants who used their intellect to win one of the most iconic game shows of all time. Number 7. The Fredericton Family's Big Win on Family Feud The Fredericton family had their eyes on the prize, and they did manage to win the fast money round and got an extra 10 grand from their primetime win. This made them the most successful family on Family Feud Canada. Their grand win happened because they performed exceptionally well under pressure. But their big secret was that they had a strong understanding of how to play the game. Leading up to their appearance, the Fredericton family put in a ton of practice, and they developed a method to train their brains for quick responses. They even built their team lineup strategically, assigning specific roles to each family member based on their strengths and abilities. For instance, two of their members, Rob and Jess, focused on practicing fast money type questions by typing out two answers under a time constraint. Talk about making a foolproof strategy. They were definitely bound to win. According to Rob, their training helped them to think and deliver answers in a fast but well thought out way. They were really focused on providing quality answers rather than random guesses. And one of their players, Dave, was positioned at the end of the lineup for any sudden face-offs. This was a position where hitting the buzzer first and coming up with the number one answer was key. The middle team members, Andrew and Wendy, knew they had to focus on questions that would have multiple answers for the main game. The family knew their positions in the lineup mattered, so they practiced to match the game's rules. The Fredericton family's practice and strategy helped them become the dream team. But Family Feud isn't the only iconic game show that could be outsmarted, as this next contestant proves. Number 6. Terry Nice's Perfect Bid on The Price is Right Next up in the spotlight is Terry Nice from The Price is Right. Terry was far from your typical game show contestant. He was a game show expert. When the game started, he boldly threw out a bid of $1,175 for a smoker-grill combo. And guess what? He hit the bullseye. You would think he had a crystal ball or something, but no, that was not the case. Not only did he win the grill with his on-point guess, but he also scored an extra $500. His bid hit the mark so perfectly that the audience was stunned. You see, it's not exactly common to get the contestant's row price spot on. In fact, it almost never happened. 
and people started to wonder if something fishy was going on behind the scenes. But Terry was just getting started. He entered the big wheel round, where luck plays a big role, and earned his spot in the showcase. Now, this is where he really showed his game show skills. He took a look at the awesome collection of prizes before him, a pool table, a karaoke machine, and a whopping 17-foot camper. With confidence, he made a bid of $23,743. And once again, he was right on the money. This was not mere luck. This guy was a game show strategy pro. Many people on the show like to keep their bids simple, rounding to the nearest 5 or 10 bucks. But not Terry. Nope. He went for something different, and it paid off big time. He would bid down to the final digit, which is an extremely rare and savvy move. Backstage, the producers could not believe their eyes. And when the host, Drew Carey, pulled out the actual price from a tiny envelope, Terry's bid was absolutely perfect. Even Drew thought that Terry had done some tricks, like he was cheating or something. How else could he have pulled off such a mind-boggling feat? But the truth was surprising. Terry and his wife Linda were just super-duper fans of the show, and they were statisticians as well. They'd spent four months recording the morning broadcast and watching them together every single night. Can you believe it? And they noticed that the show kept repeating the same prizes for bidding. So what did they do? They created a list of these commonly offered goodies and the prices that went with them. Terry, the memory champ, managed to memorize a ton of them. This got him past contestants' row. And with a lucky spin of the big wheel, 90 cents, no less, he secured his spot in the showcase. Terry's deep knowledge and smart approach made him unbeatable on The Price is Right. But not all game shows are the same. The next contestant needed quick thinking to win his show. Number 5. Emil de Leon's Viral Win on Wheel of Fortune Emil de Leon had just two letters to work with in the final three-word puzzle. And he did something absolutely mind-blowing. When the host, Pat Sajak, flipped over the letters after the usual R-S-T-L-N-E, there were only two letters revealed. Just two! Can you imagine the pressure? The letters were N and E, and they made up the very first letters of the first word. But Emil did not flinch. He was determined. So he asked for an H, a D, an M, and an O. And what did he get? Nothing. Nada. Even Pat scratched his head and agreed that the puzzle looked almost impossible. But Emil took a deep breath, and in the blink of an eye, he took a wild guess. New baby buggy. And nothing happened. Emil kept trying to guess, but then everyone realized what had really happened. The tech guys backstage were caught off guard, resulting in a tiny screen delay. But Emil had cracked the code. It really was new baby buggy. Even Pat Sajak was stunned and could not help but playfully pat Emil down. Maybe he thought he had a secret cheat sheet hidden somewhere. His mind-blowing win on Wheel of Fortune turned an impossible puzzle into a $45,000 win. Emile de Leon had a real brain teaser of a puzzle. After all the used letters were removed, he was left with A, B, C, F, G, I, J, K, P, Q, and U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, the letters Q, J, Z, X, V, K, and W are basically useless since they hardly ever pop up in English words. The chances are less than 1.5% of the time, to be precise. That left De Leon with just A, B, C, F, G, I, P, U, and Y to work with. The puzzle started with N, E, so the first word had to be new. So, Emile de Leon had to come up with a four-letter word and a five-letter word using those letters. Out of a whopping 53 possible words he could have picked, he nailed it on his very first try. 
That's an amazing stroke of luck and some impressive word guessing skills. This is one for the record books for sure. His lightning fast thinking, working through all those possible combinations in mere seconds, especially on national TV, is nothing short of brilliant. He indeed deserves credit for his clever use of the used letterboard. The video of his win on YouTube blew up and gained over 4.3 million views in just a few days. That's some serious internet fame right there. Emil's pockets also got a little heavier, thanks to his super quick guess. He walked away with an extra 45 grand, making his total winning soar to an impressive $63,099. And here's a fun tidbit. Emil has been a loyal Wheel of Fortune fan since he was three years old. When he would play at home, he would apparently get the answer right 99% of the time. Now, that's some serious dedication and skill. In the end, it really paid off. Coming up next is a record-breaking champion who's exceptionally brilliant with his gameplay. Number 4. Ken Jennings Became Jeopardy's Longest-Lasting Champion Ken Jennings is a genius mind who's taken the world of Jeopardy by storm. He's not just smart, but incredibly clever. With an impressive winning streak of 33 straight shows, he's raked in over $1 million. He's secured his spot as the game show's top money winner and its longest lasting champion. To conquer Jeopardy, you need more than just quick wits. You need deep knowledge. Given his winning streak, it's clear that he has a very strong verbal memory and puzzle-solving skills. Now, Ken is not just good at remembering facts, He's a wizard at solving anagrams. If you've watched Ken Jennings play closely, you probably noticed something interesting. He wouldn't just play the board, he would play the other contestants too. That's some next level smarts. And Ken Jennings comes off as cool as the Yankees playing at home. It doesn't guarantee victory, but it sure doesn't hurt. His sense of strategy, knowledge, and confidence made it difficult for challengers to beat him. Just like Ken, our next contestant, using his amazing skills, became the winner of a grand prize. Number 3. John Carpenter's Unique Million Dollar Win Now, let's talk about John Carpenter's incredible journey on who wants to be a millionaire. It was absolutely thrilling. From start to finish, Carpenter's performance was outstanding. He was as cool as a cucumber, never showing any signs of nerves. He responded quickly to questions, proving his knowledge and confidence. Even the host, Regis Philbin, could not help but be impressed. And he got to the final question without lifelines. But the most unforgettable moment of the game came during the final question. Instead of asking his lifeline for help, John decided to do something nobody had ever done before. He used it in a unique and memorable way by calling his dad. And this call was not for help, but to share the news that he was about to become a millionaire. Now, this is the type of confidence we all need in life. He sure knows how to think fast under pressure, and turns out he was right. John Carpenter won a whopping $1.25 million from the show. He even donated 10% of it to charity. What a generous guy. Like John, the next contestant will surely surprise you. She made one appearance on the show and turned things her way. Number 2. Ashley Register's Million Dollar Answer Ashley Register is a game show legend. She may have only appeared on one show, but she has a title that's rarer than rare. Ashley is the highest winning female contestant in game show history. This achievement speaks volumes about her intelligence and her ability to outsmart her opponents. She appeared on a show named Duel. It was a short-lived tournament-style game show that hit the TV screens for just a year. But in that brief time, it made history, and Ashley Register played a big part in it. You see, she not only grabbed the title of the highest winning female contestant ever, but she also holds another impressive record. She won the largest prize from just one appearance in the history of American game shows. 
impressive, right? This was not just luck. It was sheer gaming genius at work. So what was the winning answer that earned her a jaw-dropping $1.795 million? Drum roll, please. She said a gallon of water weighs more than a gallon of oil. This mind-blowing answer is proof of her incredible know-how and knack for making the right calls. Now, remember this. Game shows might seem like fun in games, but when it comes to winning big, nothing is random. Ashley's grand win on Duel was not a mere stroke of luck. It was because of her consistency round after round and her smart game plan. But as amazing as her answer was, she didn't reach the next level like the final contestant on our list. Number 1. Brad Rutter's Record-Breaking Moments in Jeopardy The now-legendary Brad Rutter burst onto Jeopardy on October 30, 2000. Back then, the rules said that if you won five days straight, you retired as an undefeated champ but you would also get a golden ticket to the Tournament of Champions. And that's exactly what Brad got. He ended his first run with $55,102 in winnings, and he got to choose not one, but two Chevrolet Camaros. Yep, Jeopardy used to give cars to five-day champs back in the day, but they changed the rules later on. The guy had some consistent knowledge and ability to outperform opponents. Then, in 2001, he came back for the Tournament of Champions, and he crushed it. There, he took home a massive $100,000 prize. In 2002, Brad returned again, this time for the Million Dollar Masters Tournament, and he snagged the $1 million grand prize, becoming the biggest money winner ever in the history of Jeopardy! Brad made a jaw-dropping return in 2005 for the ultimate tournament of champions. But in this tournament, he went head-to-head -head with Ken Jennings and Jerome Verrett in the finals. He aced it again, winning a whopping $2,115,000. But he didn't only emerge victorious, he even surpassed Ken as the ultimate money winner in American game show history. Brad wasn't slowing down, and it looked like nobody could work out how to beat him. His adaptability to different formats was truly outstanding. This shows his ingenious planning, and it wasn't over yet. In 2014, there was another event called the Jeopardy! Battle of the Decades. This showdown brought together the best of the best champions from the past 30 years of Jeopardy! Guess who showed up to play the 1990s week of this epic tournament? Yep, it was Brad Rutter, and he came to play. On March 7, 2014, he faced off against Mike DePay and Jill Bunzendal Chimka. As you've probably guessed, he took home the win. But that was not all. Brad Rutter even made his way into the quarterfinals on May 7, 2014, going head-to-head -head with Dan Pawson and Mark M. Lowenthal. And he owned that game, locking in his victory. Moving on to the semifinals on May 13, 2014, he squared off against Leszek Pavlovich and Tom Kovich. And once again, he emerged as the champ. This man's game kept getting stronger every year. But what about the grand finale? On May 16, 2014, he faced off against none other than Roger Craig and his old nemesis Ken Jennings. And when the dust settled, who stood victorious, claiming the title and a jaw-dropping $1 million? Of course, it was Brad. With this incredible win, he snatched back the crown as the top money winner in American game show history. Fast forward to 2019, Brad Rutter was back again. This time, he joined forces with two other Jeopardy! champs, Larissa Kelly and Dave Madden. They formed an epic dream team for the Jeopardy! All-Star Games. Brad was the captain of this powerhouse squad, and they took home the massive $1 million. His collaboration with other champs not only shows his individual intelligence, but also his ability to work as part of a team. 
but the excitement did not stop there. In January 2020, he stepped back into the Jeopardy arena for a showdown called The Greatest of All Time. His opponents? None other than the iconic Ken Jennings and James Holzhauer. You'll be shocked to hear this after everything we've seen, but this was the first time he didn't take home the gold. While he didn't make it to the top spot, he still walked away with a hefty 250 grand for his third place. We can surely declare Brad Rutter as the king of Jeopardy. Intelligence is not just limited to the stage of a game show. In fact, you might find even more of it in the casinos. These 200 IQ moments in gambling will blow your mind.